Hello again. Uh, let's continue to the next exercise. Uh, after swap, uh, we will write our uh, squirrel SQWRL rule in our ontology. So that is the exercise uh, 36. Uh, this SQWRL is a squirrel. It looks like it's a swallow, except in the consequence there. Is, is kind of a select it looks like is we use our query in the consequence that can help us to do some debug but before that is remember last uh, video i finished uh, uh, without showing this uh, result uh, from this uh, swore rule so that means is, uh, we have our uh, two rules uh, and we have uh, finished the uh, synchronized reasoner. Uh, it should be looking at is uh, find some customer that has the certain discount from the individual by class here. So if we come to the customer, customer one, if there's uh, no class here. Uh, remember, uh, in some earlier uh, the vi uh, video, uh, I mentioned this. Uh, you need to take care of this uh, configure. Uh, when we uh, look at that, is uh, by default this domain range is not select. So when you do this uh, synchronize, uh, you don't see the info the domain and the range. Uh, but what I found is uh, this one, data property assertion under individual interfere, the inference is not checked by default, uh, but other three are checked. So that is the reason. So when I check this and uh, put here, then let's do, wait a huh? yeah, just wait a moment, you can see, has discount 0 0.1 on customer three, customer one is 0 0.2, 20%, because customer three flow into uh, the first rule, customer three flow into the second rule. So once you uh, have all these uh, checked, uh, this uh, data property assertion is uh, okay to display. So that that again is our uh, the configuration issue, not the functional issue. But uh, remember, uh, whenever you see some uh, result not expected. Uh, to display, uh, try to check the configuration or settings uh, possible. That will be the reason. Uh, so that is, I hope, is, uh, can help you on the exercise uh, 34, 35 uh, to see the result here. Uh, that correct uh, based on the tutorial. Now let's do the 36. Uh, 36 is uh, first we should bring this uh, screen roll tab. So we have this uh, small tab. Uh, you can go to the window tab, you can see here. So squirrel type, uh, the second from bottom. Uh, let's enable that. Yeah, you can see from here. Uh, so what we do is uh, we will clone. Let's see, we want to see how often the hot discount rule uh, fires. We can find this uh, very easily to start with the, this one. You, uh, I just uh, wanted to uh, mention this, uh, this exercise is doing on this tab, uh, on the clone, uh, but it's same as uh, you clone from here. So that is the two tabs, but uh, since we want to do here, you can see some uh, similarity in the upper part. So also new, edit, clone, add, uh, delete. So if I uh, select this uh, whole discount rule, you can see this four. If I select this, you can uh, see this four. Uh, so we use this uh, squirrel tab and do the clone. And then we have our another rule. Uh, and you can see if you clone here, here is uh, you also have a clone. So uh, that means is they share the the rule list, but on the squirrel type, they, they can help you to do the debugging. Uh, so let's see, we are uh, change this to the test rule. 
and please we can see for testing and instead of we have this uh, consequent to make certain the data property change uh, we will change that to the square root syntax to check is uh, how many times the customer and the numbers of pizza is uh, fires then let's uh, okay as mentioned is a synchronized reasoner and then select this rule and we can have a run uh, compared to small tag here is uh, certain those uh, rules uh, button but here is a wrong button so if I run then as mentioned is uh, here a new tab is or sub tab is uh, coming and you can see customer 4, customer 1, customer 8 are fired uh, and also for number of pizza is a 3 to 2 so that you uh, give you some idea is uh, for how many uh, the times uh, your rule is fired uh, so that is this uh, exercise uh, 36 uh, I hope is, uh, you also get uh, uh, working for showing the, your assertion of the data property uh, from this uh, reasoner configuration then familiar with this uh, square root type uh, see you later is on the chapter 11 uh, we will go to the SHACL thank you for watching